The movement of tectonic plates not only can cause earthquakes, it can also cause volcanoes. Converging boundaries, where tectonic plates are moving towards each other, are often where volcanoes are located, but they can also happen at diverging boundaries. The area around the Pacific Ocean is known as the Ring of Fire because of all the volcano as well as earthquake activity found there. A volcano is where magma in the Earth's crust escapes up to Earth's surface. Remember, magma on the surface is called lava. The opening in the top of a volcano where the magma escapes is called a vent. After repeated eruptions, volcanoes form hills or mountains of layered rock and ash. A volcano can erupt on land as well as on the ocean floor. Islands can be formed this way as the cooled lava builds up into a mountain tall enough to rise above the ocean surface. A volcanologist is a scientist that studies volcanoes. While volcanoes can be just as destructive as earthquakes, volcanologists are able to better predict if a volcano is about to erupt than we can predict an earthquake. Volcanologists are able to predict some eruptions from studying the past eruption patterns, measuring the concentration of gases emitted, and monitoring earthquakes near the volcano that can happen before an eruption because of the magma moving under the earth. There are three main categories of volcanoes used to convey their status. Active volcanoes are those in the process of erupting or those that have recently erupted and are likely to erupt again. Dormant volcanoes have not erupted for a long time. There is still a chance though that dormant volcanoes could erupt. If a volcano is probably not going to erupt and hasn't for 10,000 years or so, it is called an extinct volcano. While volcanoes can form mountains, as we mentioned, not all mountains are formed by volcanoes. In the next Science 7 video, we'll look closer at mountains. <music>